When school closed down last spring, the kids came home and at first it was really exciting, right? Because they didn't have to wake up early and we kind of did whatever we wanted. They learned things because we could seek things online. And then the official online learning began and that's when the tears began. So you have two full-time working parents and all three young kids <laughs> thrown in the mix. It's very difficult to full-time working parents to police everything, you know, especially the older boys will tell you, oh yeah, this is getting done. But then you come and find out an email later, oh, maybe it wasn't getting done. School in the spring was um, not super great. Um, it, you know, it's, we stopped so soon, I think it was middle of March or so. Um, I didn't have stuff that I should have had prepared at home, ready to school four kids and have a baby at home. So it was a lot trying to do that and I feel like, you know, the teachers did the best that they could in the spring, but I'm hoping that now in the fall it will be completely different than what we were given in the springtime. Sherry and I are hoping that we get back to close to normal as possible. Obviously there's going to be some differences, but we'd like to go back to in-person schooling. Our school district is going to offer online options and if people want to go back in person, we found out. So we're hoping to go back to the in-person. We think the kids need it. My oldest decided that he wanted to do the virtual academy when we found out that it was a hybrid option because he really wanted to do band, which obviously is not an option by yourself. And the younger ones, they also decided they did not want to be in, a, in an atmosphere where they could end up doing the same virtual online teaching that they had gone through the previous um, spring and so they decided they wanted to be homeschooled. For the fall um, that decision has been weighing heavily on my husband and I but we decided that we're going with the virtual academy that MPS is providing. We had a lot of options given to us. I mean we could send them in school um, as usual except it wouldn't look normal to them. Um, one important thing that I think is most important about school is the social interaction that they get and my husband and I just didn't feel like that would be there this year. Um, I heard that they have shields around desks and they have to stay seated at their desk for most of the day. Um, at first it was when they got up they would have to have a face mask and then it changed to wearing a face mask 100% of the day. And we just didn't feel like that was right for our kids. A second option was to do the virtual academy which of course I'm hesitant about because I'm not a teacher, but that was a, an option we thought about. Another option was that we could homeschool. And um, you know, I'm not a teacher, so they were all really hard decisions, but we went with the virtual option. And if that doesn't work out for us in, in the back burner, I have a homeschooling program ready to go too. What I would tell other parents for their best option, it's I, I hope they have choices and I guess go with what you're comfortable with. Maybe at first, if you're not comfortable, you know, and Big Rapids offers, the, our school district offers the local um, online option, then go with that. But uh, I think it's good to have the option if some of us want to go back to in-person, try to get back to normal. Uh, kids socializing. Do what feels right for your family. Don't compare yourself to other people because other people are other people, they're not you and your kids. It's a really hard, unchartered time that we are in right now. And I think any decision you make is the right one for your family. I think if you decide to send your kids to school and because you're working parents, or maybe you are a stay-at-home mom and you're still sending your kids to school, I say, that's awesome. If you are doing the virtual academy, I think that's awesome. If you're homeschooling, I think that's awesome. It, this is just such a weird time for all of us that I feel like you just have to do what's right for your family.